All right, stop what you're doing. We just got a trailer for the last Ronin video game. I haven't watched it yet. Friends have been sending me the link, but I wanted to sit down, have the time to really enjoy it, throw the headphones on so I can really hear everything and, uh, and react to it on camera. Okay, so without further ado, let's watch this trailer. Okay, the music. I like the music. Okay, this is going to be sick, and I don't have like a PS5 or whatever Xbox is out right now, so I don't know if I'll be able to play this game. Hopefully it'll be available for the Switch, or maybe, you know, uh, like a PC version. But holy smokes, this was really cool. This wasn't anything like crazy, I just, I fanboy over anything Last Ronin related, it's probably one of my favorite Turtle comics to have ever come out. Um, so in the beginning, you know, we got the four candles, which I get, right? Four Ninja Turtles, it makes sense. Okay, so I'm like, okay, is this gonna be a scene with, and like, spoiler alert, I'm gonna be talking about The Last Ronin. I probably should have mentioned that in the beginning of the video. Click away if you haven't read it. Do yourself the favor and read it. Um, where is my copy? Right here. Do yourself a favor and pick this up. This is the hardcover copy. You wanna see something cool? Signed and sketched by everyone who worked on the book. Um, it is a great read. It is a New York Times bestseller. There's only one of the four original turtles left and uh, and he's got a mission. So it's just really cool. If you If you love the original comics and you loved how dark and gritty those comics were, you're gonna love, you're gonna lo absolutely love the last run. Okay, so back to this reveal trailer, which is like a teaser trailer, right? It wasn't like a full, we didn't see any gameplay or anything like that. But we got the four candles and in the background, I'm trying to like make out like what is going on. And I, and I didn't realize it until like the end of the second candle, beginning of the third candle going out, what was happening. Um, so this is a spoiler time. So if you read the series, then you know that Raph was the first turtle to die uh, in the water with Karai. Karai stabbed him. Um, so that's his bandana just kind of floating in the water as the first candle goes. He was the first turtle to fall. Second turtle to fall uh, was Leo, April, Fugitoid. Uh, I'm sorry, not April. Casey, uh, Fugitoid. Uh, and I think there was one or two other ones. Um, I think we might have lost Baxter too. Uh, but yeah, man, to a huge explosion. So that's kind of what we see. We see the remnants of this explosion. Uh, and then the second candle goes out. And then the third one, we're in feudal Japan. And we just see an onslaught of arrows. Just <laughs> We all know how uh, that this was the death of Donatello and Splinter. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, and then there's the last candle, which is obviously Michelangelo. Um, it's really, it looks really dark and greedy, but it looks like Black Forest is one of the teams behind it. THQ Nordic is another team behind it. So not much in terms of gameplay. I think the only actual artwork that we got was at the very end of it. It says like in development. Um, and we get the Sininja bots that are on patrol and, you know, the last run and Michelangelo getting ready to, uh, to fight them. So... It'll be really cool. I can't wait till we see some actual gameplay footage for this video or for this video game. But, um, I mean, so far they're doing it right. We haven't seen a lot, um, but we do know that it's going to be cool. Oh, 
what's also pretty interesting is that instead of turning The Last Ronin into a movie, which I know a lot of fans wanted to see because this is how we'd get our like dark and gritty Ninja Turtle movie, um, there was really good reasoning behind it. Uh, and Kevin Eastman goes into detail about it. But basically, Nickelodeon, Paramount, they did not want to make a movie that would compete with Mutant Mayhem, which was already in the works, has been in the works since 2000, 2020, 2021. Um, and The Last Ronin, in like the first issue released sometime in 2020. So, you know, that was already like a thing happening and it was already on their plate, the Mutant Mayhem movie that, you know, by the time this book hit all kinds of success, the idea for a movie just wasn't in the cards just yet because of Mutant Mayhem. Um, but I think the decision to make it a video game was the right decision to go with. Because movies are always going to disappoint people. There's always going to be people who have gripes. But when we're talking about a video game that had what? Like the double A, triple A rating or whatever? I don't play video games like that, so I don't know what that means. Um, but supposedly, from, from what I could gather online, that's a good thing. And uh, where you're able to explore a lot more. You're not set to all these like boundaries and things like that with movies. So I think we're going to get a lot more. I think we're going to get some cool animation. Um, we know what the story is going to be like. So like that's going to hit and that's going to be really cool. But um, yeah, just some insight into why this is being turned into a video game before a movie first. I'm sure down the road we're going to see it turn into a movie. This was a New York Times bestseller. There's the prequel sequel, The Lost Years, that just wrapped up. They just announced Last Ronin 2. So there's a lot of gears in motion for the Last Ronin uh, universe. What did they call it? Roninverse. So I'm excited. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Are you excited for this game? Have you read the series? Are you excited for Last Ronin 2? I know I am. I can't wait. Um, but until the next video, take it easy, guys.